Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how you're coming into the month, Scorpio. Okay, the tower, your energy, all of a sudden, all of a sudden you're having an epiphany, things are breaking down within maybe a relationship, marriage, how you deal with others, interpersonal connections is, is coming to the forefront. So it's like, um, also some situation that has always been there between you and somebody else is like, it's now resurfacing again. Like if this person cheated in the past, it's coming up again. Or if you cheated in the past, or if there was an argument about this or that, it's coming back up. You know, all of a sudden the tower is coming down. It says in the tower that, you know, after the it all falls down in the rubble, now you can see clearly. You can start to make decisions maybe about, Okay, so we've got you showing up a uh, masculine Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be the mother of your children with the lovers in reverse. Somebody could be saying that they got rid of something or got rid of somebody they got rid of some part of their life or their their personality or they're trying to do what's right or what's, what's healthy. Uh, they're trying to choose what's right. Somebody was saying like whatever was the wedge that had come in between you and this other person, they're saying that's gone. Somebody could even be saying they want their family back or they want just a truce within the family dynamic. We don't have to be at odds with one another. Yeah, somebody doesn't like that they're being isolated from the family. It could be you, yeah. Definitely somebody doesn't like the isolation. They don't like the um, alienation. They don't like the lack of communication, all the cations, they don't like it. Um, they don't like just the breakdown in communication, the misunderstandings. Somebody is like, look, this just has to get better between us. King of Wands, it could be you. It's like somebody saying, look, look at the bigger picture. Go beyond us. Go beyond the scope of what happened between us. We have to be, be best, <laughs> be better for everybody involved. Yeah. The page of pentacles, maybe for children. We have to set the example. We have students and we have pupils looking at us and we have people who are impressionable. We have to make right and healthy decisions. We have to be consistent. It's like, this look, This reads just like a family dynamic where somebody wants the family back, okay? Or they just want, at least they want peace. It could be you, Scorpio, it could be the other person. Somebody wants peace within the dynamic. Like there's no peace here, it's always strife. It's always drama. Uh, what is the advice for Scorpio here? Uh, the Four of Pentacles. Maintain the Empress. So we got the Emperor and the Empress coming up. So we got Mom and Dad here. We've got a real headstrong feminine energy here who needs to deal with some issues from whatever happened between the two of you we also could have somebody here on the outside of a relationship here we have um maybe a third party Somebody's trying to maintain two different relationships. Now we have the Queen of Swords. That's... <sighs> okay. With the devil at the bottom of the deck. So this is, so now we got two women, two men, 
somebody could be dealing with like somebody could be married and then they were dealing with another married individual so now we've got another we've got like a four party situation here and it that's interesting because the four of pentacles came up so we've got a relationship here that has no growth it has no growth opportunity because somebody is already coupled married whatever it looks like somebody wants to work on the marriage even though they know that somebody went outside of the connection that there was infidelity someone said i don't know if it's the feminine energy the masculine energy somebody said that person that came or drove a wedge between us is gone it's over it's done they want to call the truce. They want to work on the connection. But somebody can't get over the fact that somebody went outside of the connection, outside of the marriage. Somebody also is questioning, is the relationship really over? We got your energy coming up, Scorpio. What is, um, so it's like the advice here is get down to the truth of the matter in terms of this other feminine energy. Somebody's clingy, possessive, and that comes from fear. Fear of somebody leaving or, or someone being abandoned. This is abandonment issues. There's a feminine energy here who has abandonment issues. Therefore, how they maintain control is possessiveness, being domineering, being irate, being sporadic all over the place. Um, emotional outbursts. What's the outcome here? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? The chariot. So it looks like somebody's going to be more focused on career finance, maybe moving things forward. Yeah, the hierophant, maybe getting a little bit more uh, structure, regimen, routine in the li in in life or in the relationship, in the marriage. This could even read as going to marriage counseling or getting some type of guidance. Yeah, with the magician here, try to make something work. Use all or exhaust all resources to make it work. Because somebody's mouth is reckless with the page of swords. Somebody doesn't trust. Someone is extremely manipulative, emotionally um, immature mentally immature it's always a game or there's games being played what do we have for the angel answers here so we got a big mess and it looks like somebody's trying to clean up the mess here good luck you know at least you're trying right it's a definite no answer could be dealing with a cancer all right choose a new direction yeah it's like I don't know. Like I said, it's a big mess. You know, success. All right. Maybe in two. Wow, well, you got no twice. So we've got the definite no because it has the exclamation point. And then we have just the plain old no. Um, let's go ahead and pull a card for the two no cards. What is, what is this? No. No change. Yeah, with the fortune. So this card talks about change. change you know, um, significant change life altering change destiny there's going to be no change here somebody's just not up for it and maybe that's why the cards are telling you to choose a new direction here but there's no change with you you could be dealing with a piscean person sagittarius you could be dealing with anybody here but something isn't changing there's a masculine energy here someone could be telling you what you want to hear or they're obsessed or infatuated with having you or having the idea of you there could be somebody here who is talking to lots of different people this could be online dating. This could just be, you know, filling everybody out, just sending out, you know, messages and talking to so many people and trying to see what you can pull in. This is messy. It's real messy. It's like even if you weren't married and you were dealing with somebody who had a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you had a boyfriend and a girlfriend or whatever. It's just real messy. Let's see what career and finance has to offer. For Scorpio. All right, balance. Okay, look at the blessings in your life. Number one. All right, so look at you, the one card or the number one. Uh, it talks about how the world sees you, how you see yourself making yourself over. Also talks about just you, you know, the energy of you. How, how are you coming off? Uh, redefining yourself also. 
so maybe in career and finance this is what you need to do marketing yeah how do you get more visible how are people seeing you what you have to offer your business um how are you marketing yourself your product your service um maybe you need a marketing plan here um something needs to change here with this 41 reduced into a five um there needs to be significant change in how people see you or get to you there's no visibility let's see what do we have for scorpio healing okay schedule some healing work with the seven card so um you know you might need healing all around the board and it's kind of seeping over into career and finance maybe your personal life is seeping into career and finance you need to schedule some healing work because um just to get back on the right path with the seven card just to get over some things to move forward to press forward you haven't healed from something so that's what we have here i hope that it resonates with you if it does let me know how it resonates for you over in the comment section or down in the comment section you can also go over to the website book there book uh, your own personal reading ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you scorpio many blessings to you